we're still meeting. Jay Davis was one of the first responders at the Old Market fire in 2016. My mind says, how could we have prevented that? What could we have done differently? He inspected Omaha buildings for 22 years, from newly built to barely standing. That included the international nutrition collapse in 2014. Two people died and nine were hurt. And that same year, a fire at this boarding house killed two people. They've created rooms out of nothing, uh, and people get trapped, and when they get trapped, that's how they're going to die. And that's why the rules are made the way they are. Davis says the city created new codes to keep the public safe. Some of the changes we made in the ordinances probably needed to occur a long time ago, but we just we didn't know how big the problem was until it actually surfaces. Uh, on the same side, we have to be very delicate and understand people's rights constitutionally. And, and it's the people he'll miss most after retiring. But you'll see him around, especially at hot shops and north downtown. It's called the darkroom gallery because it was a darkroom at one time. He's turning his passion into a full-time business. It's award-winning travel, product, and architectural photography. Really, my job is kind of based off of architecture and engineering. And because of that, my love of architecture is just sort of carried through. Um, and so the two of them work together. And he hopes teamwork between the city and public will make Omaha better and safer. And a lot of moving parts in the city that if they continue to grow, Omaha is going to continue to be one of the top 10 cities in, in the world, and, and as it should be. In Omaha, Chin Doan, KETV, Newswatch 7.